Welcome, Locksmithing Innovations, video 19. Uh, this is being shot on December 19th, 2021, and it's video 19. Uh, Locksmithing Innovations, if you're a first time viewer, channel that's about tools, tips, and tricks for locksmiths. Uh, this particular video is going to be a mixed video of uh, several of my past videos, uh, improvements that I've made. Uh, that's the whole point of locksmithing innovations, or what I'm calling locksmithing innovations. I uh, started this channel because I'd come up with a couple little simple items that made rekeying Hondas, uh, ignitions, uh, much easier. The split wafer, high security tumbler, Honda ignitions, uh, a lot easier. I actually uh, videoed it onto a jump stick and sent one to another very large video producer, hoping he would, uh, uh, and a, made the tools for him, the two simple tools, and hoping he would produce the video so I wouldn't have to. Um, when I didn't hear back from that uh, video producer, I went ahead and started this channel. Uh, I've been uh, locksmithing uh, since I was 17 years old. Uh, last month I turned 65. Um, and I've learned a lot over the years and enjoyed it. Mm, the concept of this channel is to share some of this knowledge uh, so it doesn't get lost in time with other people. Uh, it's not a popularity contest. Three of the videos are up over a thousand views, 81 subscribers, uh, which all makes me happy. I wish I would get more feedback and input from people, whether they've tried these methods, whether they like these methods, um, etc. Uh, the videos that we're covering today well, we might as well do them in order. Uh, the first one it was video 14, Best Mortise Cylinder Drill Guide. Uh, it's had 76 views so far, six likes. Uh, so here we go. Uh, this particular unit I use most of the time that I actually uh, do do uh, astracles for for uh, security astracles for the front doors of Stratas businesses. Had a bike shop the other day. They tore a flat one up, uh, made a mess of the doors, the aluminum doors. And had to get the uh, swing up bolt, the MS bolt open, and then we needed to. Uh, repair and rebuild and put a three bend astrical on it. Uh, in this case, because there was nothing left in the door, I didn't have to use this system. Okay, the improvement. This is all about new stuff, new improvements. Let me just adjust that camera a bit. Uh, I'm getting uh, not really, there we go, not really down to where I want it. Uh, much better. Okay. This uh, unit has been with me for a while, quite handy. My original unit to spin it out was this here, uh, which I find it, it would flop. It'd be hard to go through the aluminum door and get this in and threaded right. Uh, this was made out of an ANSI strike plate, 4 and 7 8 strike plate. So this is what the whole point of this channel is looking for better methods and better ways and sharing them with other technicians or new technicians, etc. So, grabbed a file handle. Tried to take the markings off of it, but couldn't. Uh, just a normal file handle. Grabbed a mandrel. Grabbed a new hole saw. Put my normal either drill rod or automotive punch ejector that guides the hole saw 
in it. So now what I've got is like a castle nut on a Schlage lock. Uh, this turns around, spins it in and out, and I don't have no flopping around. Easy, stick it on it. You can see my two barbs go in there where I've had the slots, which also line up with the slots to tighten up the screw on the side of the unit. So now through a door or anywhere, I can easily keep it straight. And as you know, look at that. You go to shoot a video and everything. There we go. Now we're in. I cannot worry about having the threads damaged or cross-threading. So, new improvement to video 14 the best mortise cylinder drill guide that I've ever used or come up with or whatnot. So, and when I did this video, I told you that there was two. This is used on normal mortise cases or cassettes, depending on what your part of the country or world call them. If I want to have a drill guide to, uh, drill through a hollow metal door or a wood door to put a cylinder on another side that didn't have it i use this uh perfect hole made every time don't have to take the mortise case out of the door and now i either got a thumb turn or a key cylinder on the other side and sometimes uh the most recent one uh the manufacturer had put the prep on the wrong side for the cylinder so i had to put the prep on the other side in a dummy so I put the prep on the other side, move the cylinder to the side they wanted it on, and put a dummy cylinder in the other side so doors didn't have to go back to the factory. So, new tool. Works great with the system. Boom. Boom. And there we go. So that's the first of this particular, and I've also, uh, I, uh, Decided to stop carrying it around in a cardboard box. And I now have it in a food container. Uh, lock and lock. See? Love it because it's a lock. You know, you got to like us locksmiths locking locks. Food container. Holds it all together in one of my pack-out drawers in the back of the truck. So I grab it easily, go up to the door. And it's there. Okay, that's the first one. So the next one is my smart key system was revamped. Uh, basically, I had it in a narrower, the thinner pack out container, and then a separate clipboard. And it just made it a bit of a, I had to carry three items plus my Ilko flash battery operated key machine up to the door because I don't have a pack a punch for quick set as much as I'd love one. Uh, so now it's in a deeper one. These are reading glasses, helps me. I need, desperately need a new prescription on my glasses, but oh well. So, took a piece of polycarbonate or Lexan, put everything on that again. Now, in the bottom of the container, these were the original containers in the pack out that I cut down to size so they would fit in there, and I glued the bottom or what was the uh, top part of the container before I cut it into the bottom so it holds these in place, they stay in place. There's my Loctec Smart Key Reader. There's key blanks. There's the cylinders, one through six. There's uh, the turning thing, I don't use it most of the time. Um, the reset, one of the resets and some depth keys and master 
keys if I'm making a cylinder for the properties for the master and that just sits all up in there like that and boom it's all and then my spacers and my other little reset tool that's with the magnet that's where I put my phone when I'm when I'm reading a lock I put my phone right there so I can compare the pictures and then I make my notes you see there I was making a note from one of my reads so I can actually tear that off right now there we go ready for the next read put a pencil in there too if I don't have my normally I have my pen handy and the nice thing is is this all fits into the bottom lickety split my reading glasses go there so I get extra detail oops sorry for bumping the camera there so that was video 12 that's had 90 views seven likes smart key reading system so modified and now that just clips in with my Milwaukee 12 volt die grinder with my Milwaukee 12 volt pop ribbit gun into my truck all nice and organized quickly pick it up now while I'm talking about the smart key system um, United Hardware uh, Systems out of Florida um, demonstrated in a video uh, laser etch keys that give you the spacing and the depth so you can use a leash sheet clipper. I did send in a question of where I could buy these. Uh, that way I could literally take my leash sheet clipper up to the door instead of a key machine and clip a key like I always wanted to. There's another company called Re, uh, Red Team Tools uh, by Deviant O. Uh, uh, anyways, his company makes spacers so you can use a leashy clipper to cut slag. I'm hoping they may they make some spacers so you can clip. Um, and in his system, you're best to start with zero cuts uh all along your blanks and I, I would do that on the itl machine but in his system i hope he makes a quick set set of these spacers for the leashy cutter too 3d prints them because it would be perfect so that's the second part of this video mixed video of improvement so now this is much more improved it's of one case And now we're moving on to the one that uh, it's been my most successful video so far. And let me just readjust that camera. Picking the B365. So obviously that's already unlocked. So in a minute we'll lock it again. Now that was video 10. Uh, picking Schlage BE365. It's had 1,881 views and 21 likes and so far it's my most popular video. When I started this channel I said I wasn't going to do a picking channel and in my I'm still not doing a picking channel. For anybody that's asking, there is so many good picking channels out there. Um, Lock Picking Lawyer, Lock Noob, uh, Lock Labs with Bosney and Bill. I've told all my apprentices that I've helped train or whatnot throughout to watch these channels, learn from these channels, uh, because they're great. Um, and I and I honestly want to say. I, uh, and, and as everybody probably knows, Lock Picking or Bosnian Bill Lock Labs has said, since retired, which I'm really sad about um, because I think his channel really started everything for everyone uh, as far as Lock 
lock sport goes and lock picking. Uh, but no matter the fact that his channel has started it, uh, basically, uh, there's so much still good content on there, and that's why I'm doing this, this channel and that, trying to offer good top contact to aspiring apprentice, new lock technicians. Okay, so during that video, um, I've had a couple different uh, subscribers, or maybe even just viewers, comment on this uh, particular lock. Uh, number one, why I don't bump it. Okay, I replied, and uh, because I've done this, I'm doing this video with improvements, I'm going to just discuss those a bit too. Okay, bumping a lock, locksmiths have been bumping locks for years. And when I say that, most locksmiths bump locks and don't even realize it because when bumping first became popular I ended up with lots of locksmiths saying oh have you seen this new new thing uh, bumping locks and this and that when we use a snap gun or a pick gun we're bumping a lock the only difference being is we're bumping it with a pick gun or snap gun or an electric pick gun we're doing the same thing. The only difference is, is instead of turning that lock with a key or a screwdriver through the head of the key, we're actually turning it with a tension wrench. Okay. So bumping a lock, we have been doing for years with our pick guns, snap guns, etc. Same physical principles are there. Okay. Uh, when you make a bump key. Do I bump locks? Very seldom. Do I have bump keys? Yes. Do I have the rubber uh, sterilizing rings from cattle? Yes, in my bump kit that I bought neither off of one of my suppliers, maybe Sparrows. I, I love Sparrows. They're a good company. But the thing is, is if I was to try to bump this lock, I would have to be hitting it, turning it, and holding this from moving. That's the thing. That's what makes it interesting to pick this. Now, so bumping it is no different than really picking it. You're trying to hold this steady. Well, it's well, you're using a tension wrench or a screwdriver to turn that bump key and just a pain in the butt. Okay. I also had another subscriber talk about uh the fact that it was an older model and I didn't now I am going to actually tilt the camera down and hopefully get on to the driver pins that were in there and let's see if I can zoom in some oh, move my map back a bit okay let's just move this around there we go now this is the driver pins that I took out of this lock yesterday. Okay. As you can see, they're spool drivers or mushroom drivers, however you want to call them. I think mushroom were different when we had mushroom pins. But there is exactly four spool drivers and one solid driver that used to be in this Bible. I took them out put regular drivers in just to prove and and i know i should be doing it on camera and everything else i'm not here to prove to anybody i can pick locks i've been 48 years in my trade picking locks cracking safes manipulating safes everything else over the years and i've heard it all over the years you know back in the 80s customers, oh they do it a lot easier in the movies the customers would say well you know what the movies aren't for real, but I am for real. Those are the drivers when I originally showed you this mock-up and my technique for picking it. Okay. So, let's go back to this, baby. Zoom out a bit. Okay, so I had told you during that video, 
This was the tension wrench that I used during the picking of it. I had actually made it by putting this twist in it with my Peterson U bend it. The, the actual day of shooting the video. Oh, that didn't relock because that's turning good. There we go. No, it's upside down. That's why it didn't relock. I had turned it upside down. Ah, there we go. Let me get a hook pick going at this. There we go. There we go. Now she's locked. Okay, so I had made this particular tension wrench with my Peterson U Bend it. Also, another company I love and have been an innovator in our industry for years. Uh, the people in the Locksmore community should watch Peterson's or look on Peterson's website for some of his tools. Uh, anyways, so that's the one. And I had said how I wish somebody would make a tension wrench that goes this way. Well, I went to my favorite guys at my steel supplier super metal mart and bought some stainless yesterday and then went about making my boom top of the tension so now i'm not holding this from turning i'm turning it i'm turning it in that direction which will pick it in this direction because i'm braced up against the I'm braced up against the door jam. Now, the interesting thing about this is when you get it to turn, you know, because the tension wrench, no one's holding on to it, falls away down to the ground. And, of course, I'm not in my most comfortable... Oop. I had a couple there, I heard them click back, and I just wanted to use the raking method because I wanted to make it quick today. And of course, there you go. Wanting to make it quick and, and doing it. On camera, There we go, picked. You can see it's turned, and usually it falls out. I got lucky it didn't fall out. So there you go, it's picked. So I did make the tension wrench. I probably will make one that I can put top tension on both the, uh, both uh, a frame on the left hand or right hand. I'm hoping to find, I'm hoping to talk to Sparrows and see if they can make a set of these for everybody to purchase. But there you go. You're not fighting to hold this still. You're actually using it to turn it. Okay. Now, I went one step further because I originally had told everyone that I wanted to come up with a wrench that the bends went in the same way, which I did. Okay. Uh, and I'll probably make one for the other handed door, maybe unscrew this and screw this back on the other side and change the hand of it just to uh, do it. So basically, I, I followed through and made what I said I would. But, okay. And actually, it fits nicely in my pick case, my Ranger pick case from Sparrows. So I was very happy for that too because it will... It will now be with me at all times, no ifs, ands, or buts. But I went one step further. Okay, now I haven't turned that to nine o'clock yet. Mm, let me give it. Let me get this tension wrench back again. So you, there you see, I pushed it in. Boom. And it unlocks and locks. I can show you that. Out if you needed to see it, but we'll leave it at that for now. I'm going to find that hook pick again, put it away. Oh no, I got lots of 
fun stuff in my kit. And we'll turn it. Now it's locked again. I went one step further. And the, both of these items I'm super excited to share with you guys. Lisi, Lishi. Now, I don't have the SC1. I have the SC4. I've actually ordered some uh, little spacers that slide on here that takes the SC4 and uh, turns it into an SC5. Or SC1, sorry. Um, and those were from Red Team Tools. They're having, uh, you buy a bag of five of them for $5 American from Red Team Tools. And uh, they're 3D printing them out of plastic. So I bought a few bags, so I had extra. And I, I never seen the point of buying the SC1 when I got the S six pen model. Uh, so here's the thing. We all know that uh, Lishi is made with this little Allen screw so you can change your handing. Well, in this case, I put the handing over on my right side like that, okay, for this frame. Now, because I thought, okay, if I'm making it for a regular pick, now, this is another piece of stainless. Uh, I bent it, shaped it, did these little bends here that hold on to the leashy pick. Now, this is really a stiff fit. There you see there, it's slid up onto the leashy pick onto these tabs. So, I thought, you know, guys love the leashies. I like the leashies. I've got all kinds for my automotive. I've got a few for non-automotive. So why not do the same thing and design it for the leashy? Now, I will tell you one thing about this tool that I've designed for the leashy. At this hand, it only works on the bottom because if I put it like this it likes to fold itself in just because of the way this angle is built on the leashy and to be quite honest with you since the leashy removes with just an allen screw I am going to see if I can get someone to produce this collar on a lathe or whatnot or even talk to Mr. Lishi about designing a version for this that we can turn around, undo the, that's rigid, okay, and not slide on an accessory. Uh, or if if I can't get somebody like Mr. Lishi, maybe I'll get one of the companies to make a better accessory. Now I could take this and put it on the other side of the door with this the Allen screws that come with all the Lishis can take out that Allen screw, slide it around, and use it on the other door orientation in no time at all. Now, when I first did this yesterday, I literally picked that lock with the leashy with these spool drivers in it. Uh, because this channel is not about picking, now in this case, you just don't use number one. You know, so now I do the same thing. My tension now is me turning here. In this case, I'm turning counterclockwise so that and I have picked it this lock using this method. So far, three times, once with the spools in it. Usually for residential locks. Oh, I felt it give a bit. I didn't get it, but there was a little counter rotation there. So usually, I'd like to get this on camera for you if I can. Ooh, there's a click. It's another click.
There we go, picked. Okay, so method works with a leash you pick too. I honestly got to say though, I would rather, I would rather see these 3D printed or maybe we make a rigid model that can be changed from hand to hand, okay? And I know some people like to pick with the leashes, especially with spool pins. And as I said, I picked this, but previously on the video number 10, um, I picked it with the spool pins in with my Cronus electric pick. An electric pick will pick spool pins or serrated pins. Um, I never use my electric pin pick on small pin tumbler locks like mailbox locks. Um, I never use my electric pick on padlocks. Uh, there's just too much movement. It's too violent. And you're going to uh, do damage inside the lock. It's like picking a wafer lock with a pick gun. Don't make no sense. Don't do it. Don't make no sense uh, to pick wafer locks with pick guns. Uh, can you? Yes. Uh, is there more chance of damaging uh, stuff in your lock? Yeah, but they're simple to pick. You don't need a pick gun, but you could. Could you? Yes. Uh, I'm not saying that can't be done. I just don't do it because I make sure I invest in good tools, proper tools. So that's my leasing version. I would really love to talk to some people about uh, making this solid as a unit that just threads on. Once again, this is Jeff from Locksmithing Innovations, uh, the channel that's about tools, tips, and tricks. I would really love if you guys add your input, comments. Um, as I say, this is a channel to share knowledge uh, with, with other uh, locksmiths, apprentice, hobbyists. Uh, and right from the start, I said I wasn't doing a picking channel because there's many, a plenty of good pick, picking channels out there. Uh, but because I came up with these new techniques of picking this lock that I had success picking before, okay, but my best success of picking it was using that old method where your fingers, as I showed you in video 10, are the tensioners, not the tension wrench. And boy, do you get some feel and some counter rotation feel, even with spool pins. And there you go. Three different picks made, as promised. Um, I'm enjoying doing these videos. Uh, sometimes I, I wonder whether it's a value to all you uh, people that are viewing these. Or I, I always look for new stuff. I'm an innovator. That's what I've been all my career. I, I love to innovate. Uh, come up with, as I say, new ways of doing things, new tools, new tips, new tricks. And I hope these are well received. And if they're not, let me know. Um, I am trying to share stuff uh, during my time with other people that uh, can get some use out of it. Take care. Have a great holiday season. As I say, this is video 19 being filmed the morning of the 19th in my area of the country and will be uh, premiered today. Uh, so everybody have a great holiday season. And uh, yeah, uh, tell your friends about the channel, please. Uh, and everything else, uh, enjoy the videos uh, and take care. Thank you very much. Bye for now.